All right, good morning. It's a beautiful Saturday morning. A little chilly. I think it was 42 degrees this morning. Don't ask me why. Uh, it was like 80 three days ago. But I'm not complaining because I'd rather have the coolness than the uh, hot and humid. All right, quick update in the belly tank because I know a lot of people want to know what's going on in the belly tank. I've <clears throat> been working on it pretty much every single night. Uh, don't remember if I made a video and what I made a video of, but this is what we got. Gas pedals in, brake pedals are figured out, three-speed shifter I dug up, got that in. Just got to make a reverse lockout, which no big deal. I got my overflow catch can mounted down there. So that's for the radiator. Fan and all that's going to fit. This is just sitting here for now. Nothing's bolted in. We're still in mock-up stage, and I'm pretty much done with mock-up stage. My throttle cable comes to the back here. And I got another cable. I got to make a junction here. My brackets to run the carburetors. I'll do that once the motor's in officially. Quick battery box. <clears throat> I utilized my tabs I already made for another battery box. That's why it looks kind of janky, but no one's ever going to see it. Fuel pump, fuel filter. Uh, my regulator is going to mount over here. Homemade fuel tank. Holds about, eh, not quite two gallons, which should be enough. Push bar, because you can't have a belly tank without a push bar. And I made it so it comes apart, so I get the rear end out. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Shift linkage is already done, but I got to beef it up a little bit. Kill switch I'm going to put over here. Uh, starter solenoid I got mounted, or going to be mounted on the other side. Master and uh, two masters are pretty much figured out and done. Uh, yeah, front shock I'm still exploring some options with. I have an idea, just waiting for it to show up. I do have to heat my steering rods yet and bend them down. Uh, I still got to finish this guy here. Still don't like the way that looks, but I'll come up with something. Alternator, I got that ordered. I thought I had one of those itty bitty mini starter or alternators, and I believe I gave it to somebody a couple years ago. So, ordered one off eBay, should be here next week. Then we'll make that fit somehow because there ain't a lot of room there. And my parts finally came in for my engine for the flyhead. I needed a couple studs, those came in finally. Found them. Got my nuts, got my washers, well, that's here. I got my power valves for the carburetors, got that here. Uh, let's see, those are the lower water connections between the water and the water pump. Those are done, just need to be painted up. Got my hubs for the front, because the hubs I got in the car are Model A hubs, and it doesn't work with late model wheels. And no spindles, so no big deal. Uh... Got my track bar in. I think I said that maybe in the other video. I'm not sure. But that's in, so now it doesn't wiggle back and forth when you steer it. Yeah. So, I'm almost to that point of taking it apart. I gotta flip this frame upside down and do all the welding in the bottom. I got a bunch of welding back here to do, a lot of grinding. Uh, just a lot of stuff that, you know, this thing's tight. You can't get in there and do nothing. So, I'll get the bottom sheet metal off. I'll flip it upside down. Finish all the welding. I know there's a bunch of welding in here too for my uh, cross member I built. And then uh, bottom motor mounts. The lower subframe I got six tons of welding on. <clears throat> I want to make a heavier plate than the bottom of that because basically it's only you know that far off the ground. So I don't need that hitting the shifters. So I'll probably make like a belly plate or something, scrape plate. Protect that. Uh, there was a rot hole in this tank and we got it I got that patch panel to put in and obviously finished the welding on the sheet metal and tap that into shape there's still a ton of work to do I want to shorten up the headers and I want them that long I kind of want them just to stick out of the body about two inches maybe an inch looks better that way uh, yeah batteries overkill probably didn't need a battery that big but there's gonna be a lot of starting uh, you know, it's going to be raced to the end and probably shut it off. And electric fan and all the other stuff. The alternator I'm going to put on there, I hope, is going to keep up. But I'd rather have a big battery in it than 
the motorcycle battery I was going to put in it because I'm sure that wasn't going to last very long. So yeah, that's what I got going on. It looks like it's the same when I came in here two weeks ago, but actually there's a ton of stuff I got figured out and done. Also got a lot of the sheet metal work done on the front half. It's all welded and ground out. You got a couple more things to grind on it. You got to finish these guys up yet and grind them smooth. I'm not putting any body filler in this. It's just going to look raw. Because, you know, I want this to look like a kid built it back in 1950. You know, I don't want it to look like Boyd Coddington built it. That's not what I want. I want this to look rough. Not rough, but, you know, I want, I want it to look period. Not saying that everybody did stuff roughly, but, you know. You know what I mean. I don't want it to look like a race car, show car. <clears throat> it's got to look like something cool. So, with that, I see it's already six minutes. I'm signing off. Talk to you guys later.